Hello, and uh, welcome to Veering in Mind Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to look at a beer from Hokkaido, uh, a beer which uh, we don't see very often down in the part of Japan where I live. Um, and Hokkaido is the farthest north uh, prefecture of Japan. It's the uh, largest of the four main islands of Japan. I'm sorry, not the largest, but the northernmost one uh, uh, in Japan. And this beer is called Susukino beer, uh, and it's also known as uh, uh, Suzukino Pilsner. Um, it's a 5% beer, and on Rate Beer, this one has 12 ratings uh, for an average score of 2.89 and 31 percentile for its style, uh, which is, I'm sorry, for all beers, and 61 for its style. Which is Pilsner, and it is, I think, kind of a blend of a Czech Pilsner and a German Pilsner. Um, but we'll see when we get to taste it here. Um, Susukino is the uh, nightlife district in Sapporo, and uh, uh, the can features uh, a view, kind of an early evening view of Sapporo City, and then some paint famous uh, area pictures of Sapporo, the church and the large tower and a famous statue of the man, I cannot remember his name, Western man who, who, who uh, lived <coughs> in Hokkaido in the 1800s and is famous for his saying, be and boys be ambitious. In other words, go out and do your best. Um, and He's still remembered here in Japan and sometimes appears in uh, uh, English language textbooks. Uh, Suzukino has been around since uh, 1999 and uh, never been terribly successful. Uh, they have uh, three beers on Rate Beer uh, and on their website there are five, including one which is called Niku Beer, um, Meat Beer. And uh, the explanation is that it uh, goes well with meat. Uh, the earliest review of this one is uh, from 2007. Um, and the early reviews of this beer are positively glowing. Uh, and then from about 2010 or so, the scores start declining. So, uh, in any case, shall we give this a go? Okay, it pours out a very, very pale sort of straw color, uh, almost on the edge of something like pear juice, um, uh, kind of fluffy, soap sudsy head. And carbonation. You can see it kind of buzzing up there. And let's see, aroma. Get some grass, green, corn. Yeah, a little bit Swedish. Flavors, similar grass, very thin maltiness. Very light, sweet fruitiness, um, almost like some kind of syrup is mixed into the uh, into the ward, uh, yeah, uh, thin, watery, it's okay, uh, it uh, clearly needs some work, um, yeah, it is a rather corn-oriented sort of uh, pilsner, um, yeah. So if you go to Hokkaido, uh, you may happen to see this one. You might want to give it a try. I'm not sure if I would recommend this necessarily. Uh, Hokkaido's got a lot of good beer. Um, in any case, uh, you may end up in the Susukino district uh, of Hokkaido if you do have a good time. Um, and so this is, again, Susukino uh, beer 
uh, also known as Susukino Pilsner. And uh, uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you very much for watching and leave a comment if you like and subscribe to the channel to uh, learn more about Japanese beer. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.